Hi. In this project, I would like to talk about a uh, one-page project, uh, some text here with a title, and three images. I want to align them at exactly two centimeters, and uh, all three images will have a width of six centimeters. So we have these three images. You can see the ratio between height and width is different. You can see here, but in all three cases, we want the width to be exactly six centimeters. So the project will look nice on in our paper. So we want to fix everything. We want to have two centimeters for each image and also that six centimeter for uh, each width of the image. Also, we don't want the text to be here, to be below any image and in the bottom of the page. Let's save this. Um, let's save this proposal for our project. Okay. And now let's create a new document. Let's set up first the, the page. We have two centimeters everywhere on all uh, margins. Now let's insert these three images. We have the images in pictures here. Let's insert them. Now let's wrap, let's anchor them to page. Let's insert the second one. Let's anchor to page. Um, let's insert the third one. Um, by mistake, I deleted the second. I have to insert it, it again. So again, the second image. So now I have three image here. Let's anchor to page. Let's check here, it's to page. Okay, and now let's arrange all of them like that. So from our proposal, a single thing that we have done is that we have all the images here. I don't want to resize the image manually. I want to use for that properties. So let's go to type of image. And here, uh, before of uh, changing the width, it's very important to uh, check keep ratio. So let's cancel first. Now let's go again, check keep ratio. And here we have a width of six and the position is two centimeters from left. Okay, the second one, the same thing. Properties, keep ratio is checked, six centimeters and two from the left. Okay, and the last one, keep ratio is checked, six here, two here. Okay, so they are every, they are aligned from the left and also all the images are have a width of um, six centimeters. Let's insert some text now. Let's uh, correct that. This is a title. Let's insert the text of the document. Let's select all and move to English. Let's arrange a little bit the text. This is heading one. Okay, you can see here I have the image, but it's to uh, comparing to our proposal, it's uh, too high in the in the page. So in the case I want the title to be centered, I cannot do that. So I have to move the image down, and I need that text near um, image to be um, blank. So let's uh, open the proposal. So near every image, I need no text, okay? So I need some, some space um, everywhere around an image. So let's do that in our um, 
document. We need that space between all the images and I need uh, the title to be alone here, centered. So let's uh, change everything here. I don't want to move uh, the image left or right because they are a very good range at two centimeters. So I will move the arrow with arrow. Now the title can be centered like I wanted. The text is justified. But the problem is that the text, the text is near and below the images. So let's go to properties. Let's go to wrap. And you can see here after, meaning the image is, the image is on the left and the text is on the right. This is what we need. And let's have a spacing of one everywhere for the beginning. Let's clone this uh, formatting for each image. I select that. I go to clone formatting and click on the next image. We have the same properties for, for this one and also for this one. But you can see here I have some text and I don't want that. Let's go to wrap and let's change in the top and in the bottom. Let's have four centimeters. So four and four. So top and the bottom from this image uh, will have no text. Let's clone and also let's clone to this image. So you can see um, I have no text on the left. Let's remove this text because I don't want a two page project. I want a one page project. Now let's center. You can see this is center, but uh, the wrap in the top is too much. So let's uh, remove four and let's have one. Okay, so now the title is centered. The, if the image is too top, um, this title is not okay. So now it's better. Let's move this image a little bit up. Okay. And now let's uh, arrange this image from here as much as in the center of the page. How can we do that? Not very precise, but almost. We can do with a uh, rectangle. Rectangle. We can select one and check if we have the same distance. It's clear that it's not. Let's check again with a new rectangle. Let's move down. It's not okay. So what we need is to have two identical rectangle and to place them between images and to make the distance um, as much as we can uh, equally. Okay, so now it's a little bit better. We can check. We have two centimeters here and six here. Everything is fine. We didn't move the image uh, too much on the left or too much on the right. So we have a distance here. Let's see the proposal. Let's compare the proposal and the final document. We have a title centered. We have the text here arrange justify we have three images um, uh, you can check here in the bottom we have six centimeters you can see so everything is fine and we need that two centimeters let's check them here is two centimeters from the left two from the left and this one two from the left so we have res we respected every conditions we had initially for this document. What can you what can we do uh, more? We can have a margin for these images in the document, but only in the top and the bottom to look much nicer. Let's change the color. So we have top and bottom of the image. We clone this image. Let's go here and click here, clone here and click here. So we have the same style in 
all the images in the document. So in this way, our document will look professional, will look much better, and we respected everything we needed. We needed the image to be aligned, to the text to be aligned. We respected some distances and so on. So the document looks very nice now. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe for more video about LibreOffice and how, how to arrange documents uh, very professional using this tool, uh, LibreOffice. Thanks for watching and um, please subscribe for more video. Thank you.